Welcome guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get started by sending your WordPress website directly inside Shopify. The process is actually not that hard. What you wanted to do is to make something called migration. So you need two things. You need your Shopify account and you need your WordPress website uh, and two different tabs. So to get started guys, what you wanted to do is to set up first of all a Shopify account. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free. And then then once you have your actual website, you want to just go directly inside the dashboard. Once we are here into the dashboard, let's just leave this like that and let's install a Shopify storefront plugin. So what you wanted to do, of course, to get started here is to focus with the actual generation inside plugins and add new. So what you wanted to do is to go and open a new tab. And here I'm going to open my actual website from WordPress. So what you wanted to do is to go directly inside plugins and let's go for add new plugin. So here, what you want to do is to install a Shopify button store front. Now it's going to be asking you for the store domain, the API key, the passcode, the shared secret, and the store for the access token. All of this information can be retrieved directly inside the Shopify settings. And here is my configuration, my API credentials, and my app settings. So just import them and add it directly into WordPress to create an actual bridge. Now what you want to do is to set up some Shopify pages and navigation. So it's structured by creating dedicated pages for your Shopify products. So first of all, what I wanted to do is if I want to migrate absolutely everything from my website is to go directly inside settings. Once I am here into settings, what I do want to do is to make sure that everything I have done so far is saved. So save changes and I'll go for the tools and export. Inside the export, you want to export all the actual content you have. Not only post pages, product media, but everything. Let's go into download spoke media. This should be giving you an XML file or a zip file. It should be looking like this. So what I want to be doing here is to go now back into my Shopify and choose an actual theme. Let's close all of this. Let's go into online store. And inside online store, what I wanted to do is to go here inside the add theme and upload a zip file. So here you're going to go for add file. And this should be the actual file it was exported. So let's go here into upload file. And let's see if this one actually works for uh, ourselves inside Shopify. As you should see here is all the information about my website. It doesn't look that bad, but I need to add more information. For example, exploring free images and much more. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. So guys, we have now imported our website. Just in case you have already catalog and the catalog wasn't imported, we needed to add it from a CSV file. Let's go here into exit, go for products, and inside products, you wanted to go into import. Inside the import, it's going to be asking you to import or actually use a CSV file. So I import my product template and I upload and preview. Another solution that I can give you just in case this actually didn't work is to add an actual migration application. For example, Max Trify. So this actual application of Matrixify is gonna be helping you to add everything about terms and conditions, the policy numbers, the everything, absolutely everything. So what I want to do here is to import my file, my URL, and all my information should be imported from here. So check out how the actual uploaded file uh, granted the access and choose to import it as it is. Here are the results, the shit specific, and all of that. I'm gonna get now into my products. And here, as you see here, are my products already been imported. I'm gonna go into my online store, view my online store. And this is of course, just an example, but my product is not gonna be imported because we have just downloaded this correctly and imported this from the actual uh, website. What I need to be do here lastly is to publish to my website and we're actually good to go. And there guys, you have it. A really successful way to add your products to import from WordPress directly inside Shopify. So guys, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more insights and hit the notification bell. Thank you for joining us today here to see Western Transaction Success with the Shopify powered website. See you next time.